My name is Lily Wan Kissel from Child Neurology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'll be talking about febrile seizures. Febrile seizure is a common uh, seizure which occurs in 3 to 5 percent of children. They are triggered seizure, which means that they only occur in association with elevated body temperature, fever defined by greater than 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degree Fahrenheit. There are two different types of febrile seizures. Simple febrile seizures are convulsive seizures that occur suddenly. There's no unilateral arm, leg extension, head turned to one side, it occurs without warning. They are less than 15 minutes. They do not recur within 24 hours. The likelihood of subsequently developing epilepsy or more than two unprovoked seizures in those with simple febrile seizures is about the same as the general population. However, it is important to know that complex febrile seizures in which seizures occurs with a warning or there's head turn, limb extension, limb uh, unilateral movement on one side sometimes is associated with a slightly increased risk for epilepsy. So it is important to follow those children who have history of complex febrile seizures. The one question that parents often ask is, does febrile seizure cause further injury to the brain? We do not think that febrile seizures, when they are short, less than uh, five minutes or less than 30 minutes cause significant injury, although there is some association with prolonged febrile seizures greater than 30 minutes where there may be subsequent findings on the MRI that suggest injury to the area of the brain called the hippocampus. So what, what does one do when a febrile seizure occurs in a child? The most important thing is to investigate whether there's an underlying infection ongoing in those children who had not had their routine vaccination or those who had uh, signs of meningitis, it is important to roll those out and treat those uh, infections. But overall, febrile seizures uh, has a benign course, they're age limiting, the risk of subsequent epilepsy is low, but those children who have complex febrile seizures needs to be investigated.